Welcome back to Tom's Life. Today we are making a winter vegetable soup. The ingredients you need is one butternut squash, a bag of baby potatoes, two courgettes, one onion, four carrots, four parsnip, one vegetable stock cube, a pinch of Italian mixed herbs, dry onigaro and ground black pepper. First step to do is to prep all your ingredients and going to start off with the butternut squash. The first step is to prep your butternut squash. You first want to chop your ends off like I have already done and you want to chop it into half so you've got it nicely flat like I have it here and you want to scrape all the seeds out you want to get a spoon so what you're doing is going to scrape you're just going to get the back of the spoon and break all the seeds out And you just keep getting all the seeds off it. Give a little tap so you get all the seeds out. You do not want them in the soup. So you're just scraping all the little seeds out using a little spoon. So once you have de-seeded it, you want to chop it in half and you want to dice it into little small pieces. Just like that. i show you again how I did that. First chop it in half, must be careful you don't cut yourself with the sharp knife and then you just want to move them So you get nice little pieces like that then you're going to place them in your bowl and then you do the rest of your butternut squash you will you will add this at the end that's why you should always cut, cut them the same shape and size so they all cook the same temperature and they will go nice and soft Next step, you're going to prep your courgettes. You first want to chop your ends off. Then you want to cut it down the middle. And then cut it half again. Always be careful with your fingers. Then you want to cut it into medium cubes. i show you again how I did that. So you first bring your other half onto the chopping board. Then you chop it down the middle. Turn it around. And then you want to chop it. But always be careful with your fingers. Then you're going to place it in a mixing bowl. Then you're going to do your other courgette. Next step is to prep your onion. 
You first chop your ends off your onion using a sharp knife. I like to flatten it so it's more easy to chop. Then you chop your other ends off. And then you want to peel two layers of the skin. Once you have peeled and chopped your ends off your onion, you first just want to chop it in half, then turn it around, and then you want to dice it into three, like four pieces, like that. The reason why I've left it that big, because we are going to blend it later on, so you don't want to finely dice it, and then you're going to place it in your bowl with your courgettes. And then you do the rest of your onion. Next step is to prep your baby potatoes. So you just want to chop them into four. So what you do is you get your potatoes. You want to chop them in half. And then half again. So you have four nice little pieces like that. I'll show you again how I do that. So you grab one potato. Cut it in half. You can either flatten them or bring them together. It's up to you. And then you just want to chop them in half. So they can cook all at the same time. So you just cut them into eight. Four little pieces. Always be careful with your fingers, you don't cut yourself. So what we're doing is cutting them in half. And half again. Once you've got nice potatoes like this, you're going to get a mixing bowl. And you're going to place the, your potatoes in your mixing bowl. And you do the rest of your potatoes. Next step, we're going to prep the carrots. So first you chop them, your ends off. And with the peeler, you want to peel all the skin off. Just keep moving it round. Do a few turns. So you keep moving it, get all the way to the bottom, and you just keep turning it. Must be careful with your fingers on the sharp blade and your peeler so you don't cut yourself. I'd like to turn it around. And with your peeler, you just want to peel all the skin. Move it around. This is a little curry, so you must hold it a certain way, so you don't cut yourself. And you just keep turning it. Then you do the other way. Once you have peeled and chopped your ends off your carrots, and you should have all four carrots peeled, 
you want to you just want to chop them into three medium pieces like that so don't worry about if they are a bit chunky because we are going to blend it later on then you're going to place them in your mixing bowl and you do your other carrots next step we are going to prep our parsnips so you first chop your ends off them Then you get your peeler and you peel all the skin off. Keep moving it. Do a few turns. Don't be careful to cut yourself on your sharp peeler. So always move it downwards. So you don't cut your fingers at the top. And you just keep moving it around. I'd like to turn it the other way. I'll show you again how I did that. So you first chop your ends off your parsnip. You get your peeler and you peel all the skin again. Be careful you don't cut yourself. Move it around. Always keep moving it. I like to turn it the other way to get the bottom and we're just getting all the skin off it's up to you what vegetables you use for this winter vegetable soup so once you have chopped and peeled all your parsnips you want to chop them not too small and not too big just like that then you're going to place them in your mixing bowl with your carrots i'll show you again how i did that so you just chop them be careful your fingers you don't cut yourself on your sharp knife don't worry if they look a bit big we're going to blend it later on. Next step is to place some hot water in a measuring jug. Then you're going to add in your vegetable stock cube. And then you're going to stir it with your fork. So it evaporates. This will take a minute or two. This will be your stock. Next step is to switch on your hob. You switch it to high. And then you're going to place your pan on your ring. Let that just eat up for a minute or two. First step is adding your onions and courgette. You want to give them a little toss. So they start to soften and give out flavour. You will know when they're getting nicely done because you'll be able to smell the flavours of the onion. So you just give them a little toss. And you 
also give them a little shake. Have them get some flavour on them on one side. This will be your base. Then you're adding your carrots and parsnips. Then your potatoes. Then your butternut squash. Now you're going to add in your carrots and parsnips to your pan. Give them a little stir. So they bring out flavour. And they are nicely tossed in to your onions and courgettes. Get all the way round the pan. So they go nice and soft. Put their shoulders brown in them. Do this for a minute or two. So they get nicely coated. Next step is to add in your butternut squash. You want to give them a little toss and it all your carrots, parsnip, onions and courgettes so they can start to get nice and braised first and then you will add in your stock and the potatoes and then you will let them go nice and soften when you let them simmer. So you're just getting all the way around the pan. They will get flavour on them. Next step is to add in your vegetable stock and also your potatoes. And then you want to give them a little bit of a stir. Pat it all down. Be careful so it doesn't splash. So you're just coating all your potatoes into your vegetables. Do this for a minute or two. Then we're going to add some seasoning and mixed herbs, Italian mixed herbs and dry oregano in a minute. Now you're going to add in some seasoning. You're going to start off, start off with the ground black pepper. pinch of Italian mixed herbs and also dry garnet garno. Once you have put a pinch of each in, then you want to give it a good stir. So it all coats in. So you just coat it in for a minute or two. Then you will place the lid on top. Let it simmer for 20 minutes. So your potatoes and butternut squash go nice and soft. Then you can either do two things. 
You can either blend it like I'm going to do, or you can leave it nice and chunky. It's up to you. But we'll do that when the potatoes and the butternut squash are cooked. So once you take it off to eat, you're going to get your hand blender and you're going to blitz it. But it's going to get loud now. You just want to give it a little stir to see where all the if you've still got any lumps. If you've still got some lumps, you just put it on for another minute or two, so you've got a nice smooth texture. <laughs> look like nice and smooth so you're going to save it up now you're going to place you're going to place two good spoonfuls in a dish just like that I hope you all enjoy making this, my winter vegetable soup. Don't forget to press the like button, share, subscribe and thank you. Thanks for watching, hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming soon.